Hey guys, welcome back to the unboxing tito. If you've been on social media lately, chances are you've seen a post regarding Xiaomi's upcoming MIUI 12.5 update that would block CNROM users to download GMS or Google Mobile Services applications. But there is a way to fix that. You just have to convert your CNROM phone to EU or Global ROM. But before you can do that, First, you need to unlock your bootloader. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple tutorial on how to unlock your bootloader on your Xiaomi phone. My channel provides unboxing and reviews of all the hottest phones available today. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out each time I will upload a new video. After all that, let us proceed with our tutorial. Before we start, we need to do a few things. The first thing, and this is something really important, is that you need to back up all of your files. This process will restore your phone to factory settings so it would wipe out all your data. If your files are important to you, don't do anything before you back up your files. Next is to make sure your phone has at least 50 to 60% battery because this process might take some time and you don't want your battery to die. Also, if possible, use your original Xiaomi USB cable to Avoid compatibility issues. Next, you will need a new or recently activated SIM card. Lastly, you will need a PC or laptop for this process because later on we will need to install a software to proceed. Once you are done with those, then you are ready to proceed. In order to create a Mi account, we are going to need a mobile number. So insert the new SIM card into the phone that you are unlocking. First, go to settings, then scroll all the way down to Mi account. Click on it. And if you're currently logged in, you need to log out because the process will be faster when you use a newly created Mi account. After you've created your Mi account, don't forget to turn on your sync and find device. Also, for this procedure, you will have to use your mobile data for the process to be faster. By the way, for this tutorial, I will be using this Redmi Note 90 that I recently unboxed. I'll leave a link down below for those who are interested. Okay, after you've logged on with your Mi account, go to settings, then click on about phone. Then click on the MIUI version for about 7 times because this will activate the developer options. So let's click on 7 times. It says here you are now a developer. Now that you are a developer, go to additional settings. Okay, click on that. Click on developer options. Here you have to check if the OEM unlocking is on. So you need to toggle that. Then USB debugging. You also have to turn it on. Just click on accept. Okay. The OEM unlocking and USB debugging needs to be turned on because the procedure might not push through if this is turned off. On here, you could also see your Mi Unlock status. When you click on this, it says that our phone is currently locked. Now let's just check if we are still on mobile data. Once you're done with that, you need to click add account and device. So we're just going to click on that. So it says preparing to add device. Then once it's done, you will see that your device is added successfully. After this, we need to turn off our phone. So press and hold the power button and then power off. Once it is turned off, Press on the power button and the volume down button simultaneously until you see the fast boot mode. Okay, so this is how it looks like. While your phone is connecting to your laptop, open your browser and go to this site and download the official Mi Unlock tool. I'll have a link in the description box so you won't have a hard time finding it. Once the download is finished, create a folder then extract the contents. After you've read the disclaimer, just click on agree. You will then need to log in to the Mi account you have created earlier to proceed. After you've logged in, it would lead you to this window. And on the bottom, you will find this unlock button. Before you click on this, make sure that you backed up your files because as you can see here, all your files will be wiped out. Okay, let's click on this button. So this prompt would pop up saying that an unlocked device is less secure from malware attacks. So if you still want to proceed, just click on unlock anyway. After that, the unlocking process will begin. When the unlocking is finished, it would say unlocked successfully. So just click on this to reboot your phone. When you see this window, just click on activate this device. Then just enter your Mi account password. After that, click on activate. So to check if it worked, let's go to settings. Then let's click on about phone. 
Then click on your MIUI version 7 times to enable developer options. Once it's enabled, go to additional settings. Then find developer options. Next, click on your Mi Unlock status. And as you can see here, this device is now unlocked. If you have questions and suggestions for our next video, hit me up in the comments down below and I'll make sure to reply. So that's the end of our video and I hope you guys liked it. Thumbs is a plus, subs is a must. I'm the Unboxing Tito and I will see you next time.